All right, so let's just do a really quick overview here to get you started. So in order to access the software, it's all cloud-based, it's all on the server. Anytime we do an update, you guys get it automatically. So um, you go to player.biz at the top here. So that's the web address. You can log in with Dr. Danita Reese's uh, email. The password is all caps PODA110. PODA110, I'm just gonna copy that and paste it here you can hit remember me and then when you log in or go to the screen next time it will show up okay so basically once you log in we have three sections you've got the pages this is where you create the content that you want to see on the tv it can be videos your own videos you can bring them in you can uh, go to youtube you can link to Facebook. We have a ton of different things you want you can do. Um, so that's the pages section. Playlist is where you can create a playlist um, either ahead of time or you can have it run on the screen. So right now I've got two playlists and they're both running on the TV, but uh, you can create as many of these as you want. You can set one up for Christmas. You can set one up for uh, holidays, uh, Father's Day, Mother's Day. You can set one up for specials. So if you wanted to run a special for three weeks, you can do that and I'll get into, I'll do that in a second. But once you have your playlist set up and you're happy with it, you need to get it on the TV. In order to do that, you literally drag your playlist down on top of the channel. So this is your master TV channel. All it is is a web address. So you would click on that and you go full screen on the computer that's attached to the TV, hit F11, and then it's gonna play at full screen. And it's just a web address, so it's gonna loop constantly whatever playlist you have in here. And right now, if you click on it, we have both of these playlists are in here and they just play one after the other for 24 seven until you, you know, until you turn it off. Now, Dr. Dean wanted to know how to remove some different content. So that's pretty easy. So in the playlist, if you click on it, you can see in here, these are all the slides that are currently playing. To delete one, you literally click on it and drag it outside of the playlist. Uh, and that's it. It's not going to show up uh, on the TV anymore. Um, if you if you if it's a slide that you're never going to want again, you can actually delete it from uh, the pages section. So if you click on it and delete it, it's going to delete it from pages, playlists, everywhere. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to put it back and I'll let you guys decide which ones that you want. So basically all I did is once I've created my slide, edited my slide, changed my slide, I literally just drag it down on top of the playlist and it adds to the rotation. There is a button here underneath where you can decide if you have a lot of text on your slide, you can say how long you want it to play. So if you, if you want them to read for 20 or 30 seconds, you can change it to 20 or 30 seconds. If it's a video, most of the time there's a setting that will change the video so it will play the entire video and then go on to the next slide. And I'll show you where that is in a second. But uh, that's basically it. So right now, this is the current content in the system. We've got pages of it. And you can click on any one of those and delete it and create it. And Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Now to create a slide or edit a slide, um, you can certainly hit Add, and it's going to give you a blank stage to start. I'm actually just going to grab from our um, from another dashboard or from a sample page. We've got a bunch of stuff in here. I'm going to uh, open the uh, Impact one. Um, let's just take this one, uh, and we're going to click Use. So that drops it into your Pages section. And then from here, we can open it. So I'm going to edit it. It brings up our graphic design engine. So in here, you can now create as many messages as you want. So, uh, you know, specials, patient education, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, gift cards, you know, when this or that. Basically, so now, once you've got the graphic design engine open, every one of these items is its own individual layer. And when you click on a picture, everything on the left here now becomes um relevant to what you can do with pictures so i'm just going to swap this picture out for another one uh, let's just uh, do dr danita i think these are both the same so there you go i just swapped out the picture i can place it wherever i want i can click on the text up here and say welcome to our clinic 
Okay, welcome message. Um, oops. Okay, and space. Pleased to see you. It's a little bit big, so let's put the bar back. I'm going to click on here, Control A, and take the size down. 75%. There you go. So basically, that's how easy it is. We can click on the, the picture. We swap it out for your picture. So we have your logo in here somewhere. You can upload as many pictures as you want. Um, I'm sure there it is. So we double click. You can use. There's your logo. And we can just push it up onto the corner. Anyway, you can get the idea um, <clears throat> how easy it is to create messages. So there's lots of things we can do in here. I'm going to delete this text. Uh, just hit the delete key or on the left here, you can take it out. Now, so you've got your basic elements. You can create a box. That's what this green thing is. We've got a line. That's what this green one here is. Um, you can, I don't know what I did. Okay, click on it, make it a little bit bigger, position it where you want it. Text is another text box. You can drop it in image and video. So if you have your own video, you can click video and you know you can upload it. Our server will convert it so it's optimized for the web. But we also have in here all of these other things. So if you want to put a uh, date and time stamp, if you want to set something up, we got a birthday app. Um, if you want to link to Facebook or Twitter, maybe you want to put a Facebook ad right underneath here. Uh, you would log in with your Facebook credentials and then that will set it up to play the last three days, six days, 90 days worth of content. Um, and then it'll pop it right in there. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. The other things you can do is you can bring in a YouTube video. So if you've got a video that you like, uh, you basically you just cut and paste the address right there. You can resize it and drop the YouTube video. So then when you open the slide in our system, it's actually going to play uh, your video. It's not going to have any of this other content on it, um, but that's how easy it is to play video. You can double click on it and go full screen. Um, and you can control if there's a logo in the beginning, if you only want to play, you, you have it start 30 seconds in, you can do that. Um, you, here's the button where you say, if you click this, it's going to play the entire video and then go on to the next slide. We have an audio slider here. So if you want audio, you can do it. Some videos are louder than others. So that's why it's a slider. Um, and then you can position it front, back, that type of thing. If you wanted, you can actually even animate all of this stuff. So you can have all of these items uh, fly in, uh, fly in from the left at half a second, and then have this one fly in from the left. Uh, well, have it rotate in at one second. So then when you hit uh, play here, that flies in and then that does that. <clears throat> anyway, it just adds a little bit of dynamics. You can have fun. So basically you've created your slide. It can be anything that you want. Um, you hit save. It is now in your pages section. So that's the slide we just created. Um, now let's just say that was uh, special and you wanted to run, you know, you got 50% off on something, a product or a special or refer a friend and win a gift card. You only wanted that to run for a week. So basically in the pages section, we create a new playlist. I'm just going to call it test. Um, you can drag this down into the playlist. You can have as many items as you want in here. So we're not actually going to run this one, but I'll show you how easy it is to create your playlist. And again, this can be related to Christmas, Father's Day, Mother's Day, specials, contests. It can be an educational playlist re related to one condition that Dr. Reese uh, is focusing on for that month. But what I want to get here, here you can control the, the date and time, okay? But once you bring it down into the channel section, so we expand this and we bring our test down, you can now control how and when that playlist will play. So it's going to start today and I only want it to play until the end of the month. So if it is time sensitive, you can set that up in the channel section. So we click OK. So now that video that we just created is only going to play from today until the end of the month. And then on September 1st, it's going to stop. Um, and I'm just going to delete it now. You can click on it and drag it out as well. Um, <clears throat> but that's how easy it is to, to show. So that's 
a very fast overview of everything, pages, playlists, and channels. It's got to be in the channel if you want to see it on the TV, um, and it's got to be in a playlist. So you can create a specific one, uh, or you can add it to a general playlist. We also have lots of tutorials up here. So if you click on the, the little question mark, we've got some instructional videos, um, and then you can contact and they'll reach out to me as well. Okay, and that's your login, logout, okay, settings, there's a few things you can do in there, you can play if you want, uh, but that's pretty much it, so pages, playlists, and channels, and then call, or let me know if you have, if you want to learn a specific function, say, go just send me an email and say, hey, I want to learn how to do this, I'll do another screen recording, and send it back to you, so I hope this helps, and let me know what I can do to help. If you need something on the screen right away, just uh, email me and I can do all of this um, and then record it and send it back. So let me what I can do to help. Thanks.